Hello and welcome to the video. This is a revisit of these goggles here. These are the Fat Shark Scout goggles. Now, I first looked at these in June, July 2019 and absolutely loved them. I thought that they were some of the best goggles that Fat Shark had ever made. All right, they're the kind of compact box style goggles so they might not be as sexy as the full binocular goggles but in terms of the way they work the fit the features how well the image looked everything was absolutely spectacular however i seem to have been pretty much on my own in that opinion because they didn't turn out to be a huge success However, the reason I'm making this particular video is that I've just spotted and ordered these from Banggood for £148. That's less than the cost of an Avatar airside unit for something like Walksnail or a DJI O3 Air unit. You can get a full set of goggles. Now, a while ago, I did a video where I was asking the community for what their kit picks would be for cheap, sorry for the air quotes, FPV analog goggles. And there wasn't any really great choices a lot of the older choices things like the quantum cyclops from people like hobby king they can be hard to get their hands on now and even the cheap options were two three hundred pounds or two or three hundred dollars and when i saw this i thought brilliant this is now my recommendation for those of you that might be looking to come into the hobby that want to buy a set of goggles that's going to perform exceptionally well from one of the leading vendors in fpv and have a fantastic time with it and they will survive lots of the trials and tribulations that you'll put them through as a new pilot so in terms of the specs on these, uh, these are again the Fat Shark Scout. Their part number is FSV 1132. Their dimensions are 170 by 120 by 95 millimeters, and they weigh about 336 grams. Optics has a whopping 50 degree field of view, which is very big and very immersive. There are plastic lenses inside, but they are dual lenses. They're not fresnel lenses or anything like that that you get on real cheap goggles and at the back there's a four inch display with a 1136 by 640 the user controls are very simple there's channel and band selection there's a display control volume control there's beep control there's receiver settings there's a fan control you set the clock when you first boot the thing up and then you have a mode selection for the different receiver types there is an auxiliary in it's only really for analog sadly not for hdmi and there's dvr control as well it's powered from a single standard 18650 lithium ion battery in the top that can be charged from the usb port and you can also then just pop in any 18650 in the top just by undoing the cover it's nice and removable it means you can take an extra couple of spare batteries to the field if you're going to be there all day analog dvr will support up to 64 gig micro sd card and the record rate is six megabits per second which is a mov format there are a couple of things that I really like about these. One of them is that you can fit spectacles in. Not large spectacles, granted, but if you have kind of regular size reading spectacles or those kind of things, they fit in absolutely beautiful. So why would I recommend them? Well, I'm being very careful here not to use the best or game changer or those kind of things in the thumbnail as clickbait because these things are all subjective. But let me illustrate how nice these are by telling a story. So one of my flying buddies, a gentleman called Adam, had been flying some cheap and cheerful FPV goggles and they started to misbehave. And he was looking at investing and buying some proper FPV goggles. So as he's a friend of mine, I said, don't worry, I'll load up the car with all the FPV goggles that I have here, including my own Fat Shark HDO and HDO2s, things like these, the Recons, the Scouts, uh, lots of other manufacturers' goggles, filled the boots up, went round and we had a happy morning. And over two cups of coffee, he tried every single one of those goggles on. And the one he chose was these. Out of all of the goggles that he tried that morning, he actually went and got a pair of these. And that should show you how good they are. He can fly with binocular goggles. In fact, he's moved on to walk snail now. Uh, but for his analog flying, he's still using these. And that's what I really love about these. They are fantastic goggles. They might not be the sexiest looking things on the planet, but you know what? They work incredibly well. Are there any things to be aware of? Well, only a couple, really. The main one being there isn't any HDMI input on it, sadly. So if you do want to upgrade yourself to Walksnail or 
uh, HD Zero or one of those other systems or plug them into your computer to watch movies on. I know people who do that kind of stuff. Then unfortunately that isn't available. But that's about the only downside. So now from here on in, until they stop being sold in places like Banggood and other places for that kind of super money, uh, this is what I'm going to recommend for those who get in contact and say, what should I get for a cheap set of goggles? There are cheap, cheap bad and cheap good. This is definitely cheap good. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.